Today on this 2000 Jeep Wrangler, we're going to install a tow ready T1 connector, part number 118409. We'll also be using the tow ready four flat connector mounting bracket, part number 118144. First, we need to access the vehicle's manufacturer wiring. To do that, we're going to remove a push pin underneath the taillight wiring. It will give us access to the manufacturer's wiring. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. As you can see, we now have access to the manufacturer's wire. We'll follow the lead that goes to the back of the taillight, and that'll be our confirmation this is the connector that we need to access. We'll go ahead and peel back the foam that surrounds the connector, press on the locking tab, and pull the two connectors apart. With our manufacturer's connection separated, go ahead and take our new Tow Ready T1 connector and plug it in line with the manufacturer's. You want to make sure you push them together firmly. And then give them a little tug just to make sure they lock together. With our connection made, we're going to go ahead and take our white wire with the ring terminal and our self-tapping screw, mount it straight to the sheet metal underneath the tail light. This is our ground wire. With our wires mounted on the passenger side, we can now route the yellow and brown wire over to the driver's side and make our connections there, just as we did on the passenger side. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece of tubing, you can use a piece of wire or anything that we could use to fish our wire. I'm just going to use some black electrical tape and attach the brown and yellow wire connector to my pull tubing so I can pull it across to the driver's side. Before we zip tie off our wire for our new four pole lead, we'll go ahead and install our four flat connector mounting bracket. Using the supplied hardware. With our bracket installed in the hitch, we can continue routing our wire. With our connections made here on the passenger side, we can now take our four pole connector and route it to the center of the hitch and our yellow and brown wire and route it over to the driver's side. When routing your wire, you wanna be mindful of a couple of things. One, you wanna stay away from moving parts such as suspension or excessive heat such as the exhaust. I'm just gonna take my wire using several zip ties, zip tie it off to the back of the hitch as we take it over to the driver's side. I'm going to go ahead and take our new four pole and put it through the bracket. With my four pole secured in the bracket, we can go ahead and make our connection on the driver's side with our yellow and brown wire. Now I'll take our tow ready T1 connector and plug it in line with the manufacturer's just as we did on the passenger side. Now we can go ahead and finish securing our wire and reinstalling the inner fender wells. Now I'll just go ahead and clip off the ends of my zip ties, clean up the look of it. And that completes the install of our new Tow Ready T1 connector, part number 118409. And Tow Ready 4 flat connector mounting bracket, part number 118144.